What's up, y'all? I got a family to feed, so let's get into this. T, honey sauce is not with me, but her children. She had to put you in the spirit, you know? So anyway, um, WAC 100 breaks down. Oh, it's 3 o'clock in the morning, by the way. Can't go to sleep. WAC 100 breaks down Blueface getting S-T-A-B-B-E-D during boxing practice. Uh, so yeah, let's get it. Let's boxing ring. Uh... Partially. Wait, 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 hey, let me ask you this. What up? What up? Why is your artist uh, getting stabbed in the boxing ring? Right. Uh, partially because all artists, mm -hmm. all of them, at some point in time in their career, get comfortable mm -hmm. because things haven't happened. Right. And when you got older cats around you, they all think that we are over exaggerating. When we be telling them, they be like, "Man, I don't, man, I don't go over. It. He tripping, man." That's so he got stabbed first and foremost because he got comfortable and went to train by himself. So he's just training in the boxing gym on some regular acting like I he's just not booked famous. A fight in Manchester, England. And and who is he gonna fight again? I forget some who YouTuber. Who was the security dude. over there? Bingo. No he security. Said, he ain't no, tell no, nobody. Look, when I was doing security <laughs> for uh for gang, right? You remember we was at the? Yeah. Uh, I was doing. I was game security going. Yeah. You know what? We okay. was at the Coliseum. What's the Coliseum? Coliseum. This gets into it, and I'm going to clear something up because a lot of people got this story up. When uh, they say, oh boy, fired on you. He never fired on you. He swung, he missing, swung ran, right? missing rain. You're talking about rolling loud? I don't even want to say, yeah, rolling yeah, loud. He right. swung, missing we, rain. We're not going to say the dude's name, but I'm going to say this, though. When you was getting into it with the police, this this crazy on me. He told the police, f*** your mama. I beat y'all ass. <laughs> I, I grab a gang, like, come on, let's roll, homie. You know what I'm saying? We out of here. Like, I used to make sure that he Man, was straight. You, yeah, so. but see, I put bro on game. Him and gang got their own relationship. I put bro on game because I know him on him is me on him. Mm -hmm. But I got to, I got to do the management shit. He ain't going to stop the no limps. I, this is what I know. If I find game fucked up, he triple fucked up. Something you know what I'm wrong. saying? And that's just what that was. And so you got to remember, this is <laughs> this is right around the time of your crazy ass movement. Right, right. Right? So they think I'm out of my mind, right? Game said, I said, man, we're going to put rock on you. He said, whack, man, you know the rock been on some crazy shit. I don't give a fuck, that's rock. Right? And it's crazy because one of my, my boys so out there. Does right? the game, um, does whack manage the game, y'all know? <laughs> when he here, the dude that been running that movement is at the video. He tried to find you, right? He said, what? The dude that did the movement, there ain't no bump. Hey, when that, nigga, say hey, when, hey, when that <laughs> nigga see me, that nigga looked. <laughs> and he said, on par rule, ain't nothing going on. Rock get down with, man, it was about 20 of them dudes. Homie. He yeah, was like, right. Rock get down with every last one of y'all. I'm like, man, right. shit it is what it is. So Fuck, I'm there, gonna die in this motherfucker. Wacko from West Side there. The right people there, right? Niggas say, we but just gonna die in this motherfucker. That's crazy. It's Shout out Wacko, man. Real nigga, man. With him and uh, on the fingers, Lil John started talking. Because Lil John, like, homie, man, what's up with the whoop de whoop? So Rock is working. But he's still maintaining his cripping, right? Mm -hmm. But one thing Rock know, right? We ain't going to let that happen. Nigga, I met Geechee like that. When I met Geechee, he was at your old spot, that death trap hey, ass. No, 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 no. I'm going to bring this nigga up in it. When y'all think about no the everybody. song, man, remember you say, who that nigga that's on the song with you, Rock? That was Geechee, man. But listen, Rock, Geechee, but I'm getting to the politics. Go ahead, good to, go ahead. When I meet <laughs> Geechee... <laughs> They coming to do something with One you. One thing about Wack, he gonna tell it all. Okay, you gotta listen. Me, I, me and Reek was was there that day, right? Shout okay. Reek. So I'm in the alley. Uh huh. So I know Geechee them is in there because I just left them. Facts. So I see a car pull up. Right. With two, three little grimy little niggas. Mm -hmm. Right. I know at this time if something happened with Geechee and I've never spoke a word to him in my life. I'm the blame. And I know that's rock homie. I know that's rock homie. Geechee will tell you. That's my brother. His man. homies came in and told him. The nigga whack nigga out there show stopped us. Homie, who y'all here for? Because if they was coming to do something to him, I would have had to do something to them. Because at the end of the day, wait, what happened? They whooped through. Who was there? Who was in the alley? Whack? Right? Rock gonna tell me whack. Whether you Don't y'all feel like, like street niggas got too much responsibility? 
I don't want to feel like that. Like I'm out and like, you know. Now I do have a rule. Like nigga, you fight, I fight. That's supposed to be with the people I'm with. <laughs> but like, if I fuck with you, yeah. But it's like that's a lot of responsibility. <laughs> I'm just saying. You know the homie or not, that's my homie. Do for me what I'm going to do for you, right? So Rock was straight, but just to have a heart to cover that and vibe it was crazy. It Him and Lil crazy. John started talking, mm. and they this nigga, his whole family was your daddy. Are we talking about Lil John and the East Side Boys? Which Lil John? His whole family from Lil John neighborhood, so it worked out great. Okay, and nope. now him and Lil John they see each other. Lil John comment on the shit. I know Lil John, shit. I know, no, uh, John. I know, the, I know yeah, everybody. So I'm that you know, from the hospital. It's like our oh, politics, okay. man, okay. has been working for us because it be real motherfuckers that if they run across each other at the wrong time, it could it could go bad. Mm -hmm. right. So because I may have a relationship with somebody and it, it be a dude they don't like, I'm able to. To, to, to bring it together a different way to where they can get understanding. Right. And that's just what this is about. If we lose, using our influence to send motherfuckers at motherfuckers other than, 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 than kill it and fix it and let's move on with business, then you're moving wrong. Okay. But l let me just finalize the story, though. So Blue He don't give a damn about nothing you just said. Blueface is boxing by himself training. Yeah. Is this like in the valley or is this valley. more towards the city? Valley. He's in the valley. Okay. And some random gang member walks up in there one day. He was a gang member. Okay. He was just tweaking? He won a gang. I, mean, I kind of know what it's about. Blue, we, we, we know but don't know, right? Because dude came in there screaming about a brawl, right? And to all you rappers, all you rappers, let me give you a word of advice. One, never get comfortable. Get comfortable feeling uncomfortable. Right. Never say I didn't. Like, and then Blueface trolling the next day, like, nigga, I'm by myself right now. Like, what the fuck is wrong with y'all? Then they'd be like, my address right here. Like, like niggas would really kill you. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't get that. I'm always uncomfortable. What about y'all? I ain't got time. And I ain't even got no beef, but you never know. Niggas got beef for me, though. You know what I'm saying? I ain't got time. They went over here to the store a million times. Ain't nothing gonna happen. Because at one time, something could happen. Right. Keep your team with you. Before you go out and buy a bunch of unnecessary shit, say, you know what? That 200000 I can give three homies that can be with me every day a nice little salary. And they move with you. Because while he's in the ring, he vulnerable. He wide open. Right. Right? And then, rappers, when y'all doing y'all little thing after the shows or whatever... Always know a lot of these women y'all with, they got a boyfriend. They just ain't telling you. And let me tell you what happens one day. That phone ring and a nigga answer it and he goes through motherfucking text messages or something or she noticed that you're liking a certain celebrity shit and he sees the interaction and that boyfriend is going to say, what's this? This say you met up with such and such and it's a good chance at that point in time that female, out of pure fear, is going to lie. Right. She'll say anything. Right. But when you fucking these, these chicks, and whoop, they tired to people. Those are potential enemies. Man, a, a weak nigga kill you behind a female. So you or, think this guy stabbed him over, like, he, he had something yeah, going on with Krishan no, or it, something? No, no, I had nothing to do with Krishan. <laughs> I think it might have just been a random or something. It could have been some random nah, shit. Nah, he brought up Krishan. And to all y'all who think I don't like Krishan, shut the fuck up. <laughs> like, nigga, I've been cheering on for Krishan since day one. Now, do she be pissing me the hell off? Yes. But are we still? We ain't even. Do I still support her? Yes. Okay. All this rah-rah, you hating on Krishan, shut the fuck up. I'm probably one of Krishan's biggest damn fans. <laughs> we don't know if he was in the game. Remember, what happened after the stop? Do me stop? wrong. <laughs> we went to the hospital and got stitches. Face. What happened to the guy? They caught him two days later. Really? But he, but he in the best situation. He's got, he stabbed someone who won't tell on him? You know these cameras, these stop signs? <laughs> these stop signs? They got cameras on top of them. Right. They call this plate. Oh, shit. They call this plate. This reminds me of Molly Mall. Is he wearing Incredibles diapers? Yeah. Yeah, he got Incredible diapers on it. That's incredible. That's the whole hey. purpose of bringing up Incredible Yo, this diapers. Hey, this nigga got better cologne on than me. <laughs> right? 
So it's the monkey. They for me. um caught him from his license plate. The um the goddamn camera on one top of the stop signs or whatever caught his plate. They went to his house the next day arresting. But he's in. A I feel like monkeys rough. That's why I never get one. Pulling my hand, eating my shit out my hand, shit. Great situation, <laughs> you know, nephew. You know, he a real schoolyard crib. We ain't picking nobody out, no lineups and. We ain't showing up to court on nobody. I like ODM Slim. Get this motherfucker. Come on. Let's get, 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 like, like a dope. Come get ODM Slim. Yeah, come, hey, come get ODM. Oh, come God, get ODM. Well, we got like ODM like, Slim over here. Oh, he right? come to you? Like, come on, like, the Slim. His name is Slim, bro. ODM Slim. Willie, Willie. Hey, yo, listen, man. We brought... Um, hey, uh, oh, what's the incredible diapers, man? This shit work even on, uh, even on, on monkeys, monkeys, man. Incredible yeah. brown diapers, yeah. diapers even work on monkeys, baby. Right. Yo, this is crazy. Uh, shout out to Marley Mall. And ODM Slim. Marley Maul, the first one I ever Why does Marley Maul remind you of this monkey in the Because diaper? Marley Maul had monkeys. Oh, right, right, right. Okay. He had them. Like, they I running. mean, he Wax had seemed cut. like he got a monkey. I thought that was Whack Monkey. And shit. He, I mean, he had some wolves. Wolves, wolves. running around his property. Oh, Real nah. motherfucking wolves. <laughs> right. And they all made, almost snatched the lady over the gate, so we had to get rid of her. So you're telling me Blueface got stabbed and fucked up so bad that he can't box you him? You stupid. I can't stand this motherfucker. Didn't you just hear him say a wolf almost snatched Kill the lady? Motherfucking wolves. Right. And they all they almost snatched the lady over the gate, so we had to get rid of her. So you're telling me Blueface got Damn. stabbed and fucked up so bad that he can't box in a couple months? I don't know. What, see, this is a thing he called a, a thigh stabbing. So we got stitches. So now we talk about can he condition? Mm. Can he run on it? So we'll know. I'm going you know, to give him a couple days to see how he feel. Can he run on it? Can he train on it? Because we only got like. 50 days. Right. How much blue face getting paid to box these days? A whole lot of money. Really? I'm thinking about getting into it. Oh, they, they give you a bag. Too. Problem is, Damn I don't think I can give fight. Him a bag. Don't matter. They give you a bag. You gotta learn. They will give you. Yeah. I will put you with um uh, my boy uh, Malik Scott. Yeah. Yeah. I need to at least like my get boy, in there. Philly. I need to get in the boxing yeah. gym and figure out what I will put what you, they think of me. He training the um, what's up? Take the fade with what's up, boy Nate Bronze Bomber? I take the fade with him. Get his ass beat, but he'd be able to take a hit though. Yeah, I don't gonna take the face. Set that up. Whoever you get in the ring uh, with, I don't know if I'm ready for that. Listen, <laughs> <laughs> like, listen, you, they will give you a bag. Yeah, serious money. And I'm gonna be real with the skyrocket your shit. Yeah, what? It seems like it would be a good time for like the content. Yeah. What? You know what I would do with I, if I was you? Right before the fight, uh -huh. I'd do a little skit. Hey, listen, before I get in the ring, I got to do my plug talk shit with my bitch back here, right? Act like you did a whole sex session with your bitch and go in the ring and whoop a motherfucker. So, ass. I got it. I need everybody to check out nojumber.com. We officially started a blog. It has in depth articles about current events, music, et cetera, plus all of our content in terms of podcasts, interviews, et cetera. Dope. <clears throat> y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. You know what I'm saying? We are done with this video. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hell yeah.